guys, it's Todd with Chase and Tail MD. Uh, today I wanted to show you guys how I go about setting up my mineral sites, uh, give you a little bit of the, the knowledge that I've learned through research and personal experience. And uh, you know, it's a really good time of year to, to get these things out there, preferably a little bit earlier than now, but I figured it's better to talk about them late than never. So let's get started. I'll show you what I do to uh, get my mineral sites set up. First thing you want to do, obviously, is pick your area. Um, it's good to get it near water. Um, spring, late winter, that time frame, um, when the bucks are dropping their antlers, the does are getting more and more pregnant by the day. They start craving these minerals. Um, they kind of lay off of them in the fall and winter, but through early spring all the way to the end of summer, it's a really good time to uh, attract the deer and just kind of get a good inventory is the main thing that I use it for. Um, I know there's a lot of debate about whether or not putting a mineral site out will make a buck put on 15 to 20 inches in one year. Um, based on my research, it doesn't, doesn't sound like that's the case. It's more so the environment that's created by a pregnant doe um, hitting a mineral site is what allows for the deer four to five years down the road, if you're hunting mature bucks, um, they're gonna see the effects of those minerals because of you know, being in the mother's stomach and the environment that that creates for the deer as they grow and develop, that sets them up for a greater uh, genetic threshold. Um, like I said, that's just what I've seen, learned from reading, watching videos. Um, I'm not an expert, but that's my take on it. So like I said, first thing you want to do is pick your spot. Somewhere in your water is usually good. Um, where I'm at right now is kind of a transition area. Uh, it's a, a pinch point that I really like to hunt in the rut, but it's also pretty good for getting inventory. Like I said, um, that's primarily what I use mineral sites for. Um, it's good for the deer herd, herd to keep them healthy. Um, it's a good thing for them to have through these you know, spring and summer months. Um, right now it's about mid-June. In my experience, the does really seem to hit the minerals a lot, a lot, more than the bucks. Um, the bucks definitely come and visit them and they'll hit the sites and whatnot, but from what I've seen, mostly it's the does. Um, you can probably say that about anything. But, but um, so yeah, what I start by doing is tearing up the ground. Just kind of get like, I don't know, four to six inches torn up for the bottom layer that I will show you what I use. I don't know if you'll be able to tell from that angle, but size-wise, probably about the size of like a car hood, maybe four or five foot, by four or five foot. Um, like I said, I just tear up these first four to six inches of the soil, and uh, I'll show you in a minute. As you can see, I usually start with a just a pointed end shovel, bring along my rake. I'll just rake up, tear this up, get it ready to be mixed. So now I've gotten that torn up, ready to be mixed in with some of this mineral that I put as my bottom layer. Um, real quick, I usually, it seems it takes about three months before I need to refreshen up everything. Um, kind of do every two to three months depending. Uh, usually the cameras will tell you. I wouldn't check your cameras too often. I just kind of check mine enough to make sure the batteries are good, the SD card's not full. Get everything set back up but like I said as they start to slow down you kind of know your your sights not attracting as much as it could be slash should be so that's usually around the time I noticed a drop off here um, I think I set this site up at the end of February that's about when I like to try and get them set up for the year get the deer more accustomed to them um, but yeah so it's been about three and about three and a half months and um, now I'm out here 
getting this guy set up again. So, now that I've got that torn up, the bottom layer, I use this 30 out 6 um, white Imperial Whitetail. Um, it's got a really strong scent. This is what it's designed for. Uh, it's, got, it's got some good minerals in it. I'm not going to really give a review of this because, you know, I'm just showing you how I set mine up. But I will say, I do like this. It smells really good. It seems to be working really well. I've set up mineral sites without this. And the mineral sites that I have not used on this do not seem to get near as much traffic. So we'll just mix this in here with this one you torn up. This is a 20 pound bag, that should be plenty. Um, seen anywhere from like 20 to 40 pound bag seem to be fine. I would assume if you use a 40 pound bag it might last you a little bit longer, but I have personally used the 20 pound bags. So, <clears throat> now what we'll do is mix this in with the soil. You don't have to go too crazy about mixing it. The rain and whatnot time will take care of getting it down in there. But mix it in enough so that it's not all just gonna wash away if you get a hard rain or something like that the area like I said about the size of a car hood um, now you're ready for the next step of what I use this I'm sure most of you have probably heard of trophy rocks this is basically just a crushed up trophy rock uh, 30 pound bag I just kind of lay this on top of that layer as like a secondary layer um, as for minerals this has some minerals but it's basically a salt like you know more so for like I said, I, I mainly use this as a like an inventory. Um, I know it's good for the herd, but personally, I'm hunting a small 11 acres, so what I'm doing here, I don't really think realistically will affect the deer herd that much. So I really just use it as an inventory through the summer. It's cool to watch the bucks grow. It's cool to see the babies with their mothers, stuff like that. So let's get this spread out. Same thing with that. I kind of pull a thin layer. You don't have to go all the way as far as you did with the uh, 30 out 6. Um, and then the final touch is just the trophy rock. Set this right on top. And let it kind of do the work. Um, like I said, this is basically just like a salt lick. I mean, you can see this portion here is literally just straight up salt. But, like I said, that's fine. I understand there's trace minerals that the, the deer need to support a healthier herd. Some of those are in that 30 out 6. It has some in the, the rock too, but as far as I know, based on what I've read, not enough to make that much of a difference. But, just pop that right in the center. Here's the old trophy rock from when I set it up back in the February time frame like I talked about um, you can see how much it's shrunk and it's a good bit smaller but I leave them out till they're gone might as well just it's not gonna hurt to put this back so I just kind of pop this on top or beside the, the new one that I put out and just let the, uh, the deer and mother nature take care of it but that is pretty much everything for just your standard mineral site that I use that I like to use um, I got a trail camera running on this. Some days, some days you'll get hundreds of pictures, some days it's slow, but you know, typical. So, what I'm actually gonna do today though, because traffic's been kind of slow, especially compared to a few weeks before this started to dry up, for lack of a better term, I'm just gonna throw out some of this big time. Um, I believe it's called Cherry Rush. Yeah, Cherry Rush. Get this at Bass Pro Shops, local Bass Pro Shops. This has been 
over the last two years probably the best attractant that I've found. So I'm just kind of using this today to put around this mineral site just to get the deer drawn to it, to get their attention on it. Um, I found that to be a good way, you know, it puts this area on the map for the deer. Um, so I'm going to do that, wrap this up, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to show you some pictures in the next videos of uh, what's been coming in here. I've got a few bucks around here that, you know, I've got a few spots, but this is usually one of my better spots. Um, there's a few bucks, four-year-old bucks that I'm hoping to catch up with this year. I've got a few pictures of them, videos of them growing so far, but hopefully as uh, time continues to go on, we'll, we'll see them grow. It's one of my favorite parts of the mineral sites, you usually get to see them, you know, as they progress through the summer and you really get to see the, uh, the antler growing process. It's really cool, but appreciate you guys. Subscribe for more content, like the video, hopefully uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. Give me some feedback if you didn't, if you think there's something you want to know. I'll hopefully be able to catch up with you in the comments and um, let you know what I think about it. I'm no expert, but I've been doing it for a little while, so thank you.